family welcome back to another video I'm driving right now because we are going to get some new horses for the rescue we've got two horses surrendered um, a thoroughbred and a little mini now if you've been following our channel for a while you might recognize these guys they were actually adopted um, almost a full year ago and uh, the adopter has gone through some financial and health circumstances so she's surrendering them back to us so we can rehome them so come along and we'll pick them up uh, and then get them evaluated and see where they're at and get them adopted out. We're back on the road. We've got uh, about two hour drive back to the rescue now. Uh, the thoroughbred, he was Henry when he was with us. The uh, adopter renamed him Arrow. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're gonna go back to Henry or Arrow, but um, he took a little while to load. He wasn't super happy about getting in the trailer and leaving his little mini friend behind, but um, we got them loaded up after not too long. So they're traveling pretty well. They seem content back there. Uh, and then we'll uh, get back to the rescue and get them settled in for the night. Did I surprise you? Oh, hey buddy. <laughs> The first horse I'm going to get is the little mini Napoleon. He has an issue with both bath legs where there's a patellar fixation, so it's hard for him to walk. He can't pull a cart or be ridden, but he can be a companion. And we thought it was so great when he was adopted along with Henry to be his companion. Um, but since it's not worked out, we are taking them both back in. And Henry was very, very impatient to get out. He wasn't happy about getting in the trailer and that also has to do with his feet, which were left without failure care for approximately six months, um, just based on growth. So that's just an estimate on our end. Unfortunately, my camera person decided to stop recording every time Henry decided to pull me around, but it was evident that he hadn't been handled much um, since he left us, at least recently. Um, his ground manners and leading skills, basically zero, much worse actually than even when we brought him from the auction. He wouldn't respect halter pressure, and he was just really pulling me all around the farm. This is the, the best it got um, trying to work with him. So we're leading him down to one of the far pastures and there was a point where I honestly thought he was going to get loose and run around because he was just pulling me so hard and I had no grip, uh, no strength to hold him back. So he's just in this little round pen here until we can get another horse moved. Very upset, of course, and he's actually been at this facility before, but it's been a while. So we're just moving Zephyr out of that field into another field so that Henry can be in an all geldings group. Henry's finally in his field here. Of course, he's very upset running back and forth along the fence. Actually, it was a surprise to us to see that he was still sound because, as you'll see with the farrier, his feet were not in good condition at all. It's like what he 
still. <laughs> Yeah. Looks like it's opening. I'm not sure. Back if... up or it's just a little raw or something. Yeah. Because it's yeah, making this crack over here. Okay. So the scar is making the crack? Yeah, because it's at the corner of the inside. So it's the... That's where it grows off. Oh, I see. It's not big, big, big. Yeah. Yeah. Then the problem now I'm going to go into my stable secretary app and put in Henry and Napoleon's details. You can add their names, where they're at in your farm, pick the breed, add pictures, birth date, sire, dam, breeding information, if you want to include that. This app has made keeping track of all the horse's details on the farm very easy. Farrier visits, vet visits, when they had their teeth, their coggins. You can attach pictures if something happens to them, like a little injury, and keep track of everything. Use code RHFARM when you download it for a discount. Hey, buddy. Don't press the fence. You're going to get shocked. Maybe old man. There's Flynn. Thankfully, Napoleon has settled in pretty well. He's trying to make friends. Um, they're with Flynn and Vernon, who are kind of sort of accepting him. But I want you to watch as he walks away here. You can see his back right leg. It's going to lock, and that will show you uh, what it's like for him. It's just really hard there at the walk. After a few days of working with Henry directly in his pasture, Cody's now bringing him up to our hitching posts at the top of the property and working with him on grooming and standing still for that. This is actually going to be a separate video this session here because I wanted to point out a lot of body language cues. So look for that coming up. And lastly, this is Henry's first session in the arena just checking on cues. Cody's checking um, if he's going to be desensitized, if some of our training has stuck in. No respect for personal space at all. Um, so we're going to work with him on that. Um, this is something we do with all the horses that come to us. And since Henry was gone for a while and was kind of acting very different than how he was when he left us, we wanted to make sure he wasn't going to be super spooky or have developed some sort of fears or weird behaviors beyond what we had already seen. A couple times at the trot, he was sort of lifting his head, indicating a little bit of tightness through his back. And he's taking short, choppier steps, and that's also because his hoof care has kind of been neglected. Um, so hopefully we can remedy that with time. But he did pretty good for his first session. That's going to be the end of our video today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And you can also send a thanks down below. It's that little heart, and that sends donations our way to help with Henry's care.